Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. And welcome to this uh, new video. Excuse me, I was doing some other things. Uh, welcome to this new video and your update on Bonk. Um, was needed. Uh, yesterday Yesterday evening, we did get some, some bullish momentum, uh, which was interesting. And it, uh, well, it, it brought some hope to, to my eyes. Uh, but in the end, and we talked about this yesterday as well, all right? Yesterday, what I said to give you a quick summary um, is that Bonk was quite bearish. Uh, yesterday especially like yesterday if you looked at at the emas etc and the bearish breakout we just had uh, below this uh, this minor level right here at around twenty two thousand five hundred, it just looked very bearish and it still does i mean right now there's just a ton of bearish pressure in in the markets bitcoin is falling down uh, well quite a bit actually uh, so bitcoin is falling down quite a bit and bonk is is following that right now um it's it, the, the whole market is following this this is not I mean, most of you know my, my thoughts on Bonk. I've always been bullish on Bonk. Every time I analyze it in this whole rally, I've been quite bullish. But um, I turned bearish the moment it got listed on Binance. Because, and I know some of you will tell me, oh, you cannot compare it this, that. Uh, but, but it reminded me a lot of what happened with Pepe. And Pepe, after the Binance listing, dropped down immensely. Uh, and so far, and I hate to say this, but so far I have been right. All right. So, so e e even if you don't want me to be bearish and if you don't like that, at least take it into consideration. All right. Because right now, if you look at Bonk and, and like I, I, I love Bonk, I, I love the Bonk community. I really do. Um, but if you look at it right now, it, it just isn't strong. Uh, the open interest. Look, yesterday we had some bullish momentum and we also talked about that in the video yesterday. But I said we need to break above 25,000 if we really want to be bullish again. And you can see we found resistance there. So that's actually a bearish confirmation. And then since that level, the open interest or the momentum in the price has dropped down significantly as well. Look, this is not my opinion. This is just what has really happened. Um, so Bonk right now, I'm not telling you that it cannot rally again because it, it can. It can definitely rally again. It just isn't most likely at this moment, all right? At this moment, while there's a lot of bearish pressure in the markets, Solana is not, not doing that great anymore, at least not in terms of price. The, the ecosystem is still doing fine. Um, but yeah, so that leads me to believe that Bonk will drop down further. The next major support level uh, is where it's at right now, between 20,000 and 17,500. I expect some support from here, but in these market circumstances, this level is not going to cause a rally, I think. This is a very strong level, like it's, it's very strong. You have some strong Fibonacci levels there. You have the 200 EMA, you have two psychological support levels. So I do expect support, uh, but the only way in which Bonk could rally from here is, look, I, I, don't, I don't think from this level we need to break above 25,000, but we do need to break above 22,500 and then hold it as support. That is where we failed last, uh, last night. We, we broke above that, but then we didn't help, hold it as support anymore. Uh, 23,000 actually, not 22,500. But if that happens, then we can actually rally. Um, and this is a possibility, but but if we if, if we remind ourselves of everything we just talked about, it's not most likely. Most likely is that Bonk will find support here, uh, maybe consolidate, but then drop down even lower uh, towards 15,000. That's most likely right now. And I hate to say that, all right? Because like I said, I want to be bullish on Bonk. And trust me, I will buy Bonk if we can get some sort of a bullish breakout. But the market structure right now is very clearly bearish. And it's not smart to go against the market structure. It, it just rarely is, all right? So um, yeah, no, that's what you should know for now. Be careful trading it. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't buy it before you see a bullish breakout, all right? So wait for that. If you want to buy Bonk for the long term, whatever, Wait for that bullish breakout, all right? Because then it, it has a better chance. But right now it's, it's just getting bearish breakout after bearish breakout and then one bullish fake out, all right? So, uh, so yeah, be careful. Those are my thoughts for now. I'll keep you updated on this. But for now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my, my premium and signal group if you're interested in that. Uh, links to that will be down in the description. But for now, have a great day. Uh, thank you for watching and bye.